they had the whole canal built and when they got to Lockport they had to traverse the 60 foot escarpment uh, made out of uh, dolomite, hard rock, uh, which caused them a lot of problems. I think the fact that they already had most of the canal done up to that point made them finish it there. I think if they would have started there they may not have they may not have built the Erie Canal uh, because of the difficulty of the terrain and the, the elevation there. Well, the Flood Five Restoration has been talked about for several uh, administrations. You know, when I was in when I was in the County Council, the previous mayors had talked about it. It's a very difficult project. It's it's, uh, it's expensive. This project is probably around uh, going to cost us between eight and ten million dollars. Um, it's a it's a difficult thing to do. My name is Becky Burns and uh, I'm a member of the Niagara County Historical Society. I've been on the board of directors for eight years and I'm president this year. And the involvement with the Flight of Five really comes from a subcommittee um, the, that's a city committee. It's called the Erie Canal Task Force and the mayor chose some members of that to get involved with the Flight of Five and its restorations. When the canal was being built, they built the easy parts first and then they ran into this stone escarpment, what we call the Niagara Escarpment. The issue was at that time they had to merge the waters from the Erie, Lake Erie um, with, the, with the waters from the Genesee River and they were at two different uh, altitudes. So how do you get the water up 60 feet so that you can merge the two bodies of water? Well, that problem was solved by uh, an engineer named Nathan Roberts and his solution to it was to build two sets of locks. And then, of course, because it was the last part of the canal to be uh, dug, this was the area where many of them settled because a lot of them had come to the area just, just to work on the canal. As they had to create equipment to blast out the canal and go through the escarpment area, uh, they also had to invent equipment to take down these huge old trees and so forth. So uh, there was lots of innovation at the time just to get this link of the canal uh, open and operating. Um, the, in the mid-1800s, in the 40s up to about the 60s, there was another time period when uh, there was a widening and, and improvement of the situation. Then around um, the, the 19 teens, they began to do another one. At that time, they took the southern flight of five out of operation, but the northern flight stayed in operation, I've been told, till, till the 1920s. The reason there were the two sets is because they went in one direction each. They weren't able to be used to go in both directions. By the time they put in the two new, newer locks, obviously needed much bigger um, um, locks, so we needed it for what we were moving. Um, and, and then on top of that, I think they were able to do it, you know, the, just the ability to have that um, um, two, two direction uh, locks made everything easier. They didn't have to have two sets of, of uh, you know, locks operating at the same time. Um, now they could narrow it down to some small cadre of people that could operate the mechanical locks. You know, without the flight of five, without the, without the, the twin set of locks, of which now there's only one set, there'd really be no city. It was, you know, back when, in the 1820s, when the Flight of Five was built, uh, Lockport was a very, very, very small community, and because of the Flight of Five and the people who built the Flight of Five back in the 1820s and 30s, uh, Lockport became what it is. Um, you know, I think we're lucky to have it here. And it's, it's sat there for a long period of time because it's, it's a very difficult project. It's expensive. Uh, there's really no blueprints. We're kind of run by the seat of our pants. Uh, as they did when they built the, the Flight of Five, but it's, uh, it's such a significant part of our history and I think it could be a very significant part of our city. Uh, I thought it was important for us to undertake this project. We've been at it now for uh, about six years. As our city has changed, uh, you know, I've just made it kind of the focus. I've kind of made the Erie Canal and tourism and tourism related things the focus. You know, I have no illusion that uh, uh, you know, will ever the Lockport will ever be a tourism destination? I, I completely understand that, but we have a tourism destination, 18 miles up the road. It's called Niagara Falls. They bring in 15 to 18 million people a year. If I can find a way to bring down one percent of them people, just one percent of that 18 million, uh, you know, Lockport would be successful here. Uh, I believe, you know, by bringing people into our city, it drives economic development, it drives hotel development, it takes the burden, I think, off of our residents here. Uh, and that's kind of what we're looking to do. We're trying to 
uh, trying to uh, make our city better, promote our city, uh, you know, statewide and national level, make people want to come here and, and spend some time here and spend some money here and enjoy our city. And I, I believe all of that stuff together will ultimately make our city a better place. And, but our, our uh, goal is and has always been and will remain to be a full and complete restoration of the flight of, uh, the flight of five locks. We want, we want five working locks there where people can come in and see uh, exactly you know, what they were built for, what they're intended for, how they work. And what's, what's unique about this, this area here is next to the flight of five locks, there's a new modern locks, locks 34 and 35. Uh, that will be the only place in the world where the old locks and the new locks will be working side by side, where you can actually go over there and see new technology, new engineering uh, versus the old uh, technology and the old engineering. Uh, have a small boat to lock through so people can actually see how the locks function uh, back in the day. We're going to have them, we want them to be exactly as they were or as close to be as they can be. Our plan is to take it back to about the 1865 era. Well, my goal is to have it finished by the fall of 2000, 2011. We'll be flexible uh, with that. And, you know, the important thing is we get it done, not when we get it done, but that, but that we get it done. Uh, I feel confident that this project moves along and as people start see, seeing that we're serious about the project and actually start seeing some work being done in the structure, uh, the people will be eager to uh, help us you know, get to the end of the road. Mm -hmm.